What is going on everyone? My name is Miles. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I have something that was not only requested by you guys, but also something that I've been wanting to see on YouTube. And because I have not seen it by anybody else, I decided I'd make the video for myself. That is the top five named locations to land in rank. Now, the reason I say named locations is because I'll go ahead and get it out there before you guys get upset that it's not on the list. Train is one of the best places to land at, but you have to be really careful. I don't really land there that much. I only land there if I know that there's no one going there and that it's going to be completely uncontested and also if it's planning to stop at a good location where I can continue to loot. So for instance, if you see a few teams going there, I wouldn't really bother because it's going to just be an RNG toss up in the air and you're going to probably lose some RP because you're going to get unlucky with RNG. So just land at some other places. But if you do see that train is available, I highly recommend you guys try to take it. It's a lot of times that I've been there. It's been three purple armors, usually most definitely at least two purple armors, but always a guaranteed one purple armor. So I definitely would recommend you guys landing on train if you don't already, if it's available. But because train's not always available, that's why I'm making this top five list of the best five places that you can land in ranked to have better loot and also get easy RP. So coming in at number five, we have Skyhook. Now, the reason I have Skyhook at number five is because it could be really populated sometimes. It could be really hot, but then also sometimes it could only be one or two teams. And if you guys haven't seen my uh, video on how to get RP faster and how to rank up faster in Apex Legends, Skyhook is one of the best examples I can give from my reasoning in that video. It's because usually there's going to be one or two teams here, and it's a lot easier to take a fight early game. It's a lot easier to win a fight earlier in the game than it is later in the game when everyone has purple and gold armors and stuff like that so skyhook is a really good place because it's really good to make sure that all your team gets good loot and then you can also go ahead and beat that one team that's there and already have those three kills or three assists or whatever already out the door so you don't have to worry about getting late game and not having any kills or any points whatsoever so skyhook is really good for like i said the fact that you can get loot really fast your whole team and then there's usually only one or two teams that are there you can go ahead and knock those people out go ahead and get all five of those kills really fast or at least three or four so that when you get late game you'll have that multiplier where in your favor but also because it's in the corner of the map you're not going to have to worry about getting third partied from every single direction most likely the only team that will third party is maybe more than one team being there at skyhook itself but you're not going to have a team flinking from the north south east and west because it's in that corner so all the teams that could potentially come are either already in skyhook or going to be coming from the direction of capital city so that's why i have it at number five coming in at number four we have dome now the reason i have dome is because like skyhook it's in the corner of the map so you're not going to have to worry about third parties from you know behind you and in front of you on the both sides of you there's only one direction that people can come other than already being in dome itself so it's also going to have maybe one team landing there but usually not more than that so that's really good also the dropship tends to go towards the middle of the map so dome being on the edge of the map is really good because you're going to have less people go there more loot for your team but also if people do decide to land there it's usually pretty easy to get those kills and go ahead and get that easy rp if i have dome at number four pretty much for the same reasons that i have skyhook at number five it's going to be a good place to get loot for your team usually only one team is going to be there so it's going to be really easy to go and get those kills knocked out out of the way and also there's not going to be a lot of third parties considering where it's placed on the map but so very similar to skyhook as far as their placement on the map so you can honestly flip-flop these if you wanted to at the number four and five spot but i just left it at number four because i tend to have a little bit better success when i land on i also want to mention that just because i have these locations at number one two three or whatever doesn't mean you should always land there it doesn't mean that the number one is always the best choice to land at if it's the hot zone or if the dropship's going directly over it there's going to be a lot of teams there and it's not going to be a good spot for you to land but I would keep this list in mind when you are going through the dropship and try to determine which of these locations is going to be probably the least populated area on the map. Which of these locations is going to probably be the easiest for us to get loot and no one's going to really contest us as bad as, you know, a hot drop like Capital City or something like that. Because I can honestly say in the last two weeks that I've played, I don't think I've landed anywhere else other than these five locations that I'm going to tell you today. And the reason behind that is because pretty much every drop ship will allow one of these locations to be a really good drop. So if you guys just keep this list maybe in mind or maybe even on your phone um, as you're playing, you can always think about when the drop ship's coming through, choose one of these locations that you think will be best considering on where the drop ship is placed. And I promise you over time after you get used to landing there, 
there is going to be really good especially once you learn the loot patterns of each place especially when you find out number one but coming in at number three we have tree now honestly i was not a big fan of tree at the beginning of the game i had a lot of people tell me that it was a good place to land but then whenever i landed there something always went wrong and what i found out is that when you land at tree you have to learn how to land at tree no one should land completely separate from their team unless there's absolutely no one there if someone is there you guys need to make sure that you can secure a weapon secure a kill and if you can't you need to land close to each other so maybe on the buildings at the top of the hill towards the edge of the map instead of landing on the actual tree itself because if not you're just going to get focus fired and you're going to not like the tree drop as much the tree is one of the best places to land at as far as getting that one team to land with you and getting an easy squad wipe to begin the game and already having those three points so that's why i like tree so much but coming in at number two this was a pretty close win with number one but honestly when i thought about number one and how consistent number one is i could not put number two in front of number one but number two i have thermal station thermal station is a really good place to land because number one just like skyhook and just like dome it's in the corner of the map so you're only gonna have to worry about one direction of people coming through and depending on where you land at thermal station but there's also a lot a lot of loot there there's so many houses so many pills for you to loot and there's pretty much a guaranteed always to leave thermal station with at least one purple maybe even like all blues or something like that there's just so many places to loot and such a high percentage that you're going to walk out of there with really good loot also there's usually only one or two teams that land there because of the idea that it's in the corner of the map it's usually far away so it's pretty easy to get good loot go ahead and knock out a team and go ahead and play rotation and get good positioning and get good placement so that those kills that you got early in the game are going to help you out a ton with that multiplier also a lot of times the train tends to stop at thermal station that is unlooted and so you can really get good loot not only at thermal station itself but when the train comes through it's usually like i said unlooted you can go ahead and get loot off of that as well and it's always a guaranteed purple so that's always a bonus but coming in at number one I don't know if you guys have landed here quite often. If you guys have landed here, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. This has got to be the most consistent named location in the entire game as far as loot goes, and that is Refinery. Refinery is by far never let me down I, i've landed in the what people call the toilet bowl which is really like a silo kind of thing on the very right side i don't i haven't noticed that the one on the left is as consistent but if you are going towards refinery from capital city and you land in the silo to the very right i only think since season three has launched that i have not got a purple armor out of there only one time every other time i've landed there always a purple armor there's pretty much always been good weapons that i've landed there i can't think of a time that i landed at refinery and got bad loot uh, always good armor always good weapons only one team usually lands there so it's usually not too hot but you also got to play it smart you should not be landing refinery if the dropship's going directly over it or if it's the hot zone because a lot of people are going to land there and that's just how it is if that's the case you should choose one of these other spots that i have on the list and that's why they're also different because if the dropship goes over one place that it's on this list then you can just choose four other places that are most likely going to be a good potential drop for you and like i've said already i've landed at every location on this map multiple times and ranked and these five are definitely the most consistent for me but you guys can definitely try out your own list and do whatever you want after so many matches and so much testing with all these locations these five are by far the most consistent for me so that's why i have them on my top five feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments about these locations what locations do you like to land at and what locations have been consistent for you also make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video i really think this will help you guys probably more than anything choosing where you dropped and ranked is one of the best and one of the biggest factors as to how your rank game is going to go having a good drop so i think this is going to help you guys a ton in ranking up if you guys play your cards right but definitely let me know what you guys think also subscribe to the channel like the video if you want to see more content like this it really does help me out so much so thank you guys so much for watching have a good day peace and i think i got one Yeah, and I think I got one Yeah, yeah, I got one